In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to model a simple cartoon character in Blender. So first of all, open the software and delete the default cube by pressing X. Next, add a UV sphere by pressing Shift A, and then go to Front Orthographic View by pressing 1 followed by 5. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then box select half of the sphere to delete it. So make sure you're in vertex mode and then press B to enter box select mode and select either the left or the right half and then delete those points so you're left with only half of a sphere. Now we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier and also a mirror modifier so that the half we just deleted is mirrored. Start by sculpting the eyes by selecting the vertices and moving them around. You select two points, then it automatically selects an edge. Select four points, it selects a face. So it's easiest to stay in vertex select mode when you're modeling. So just create the basic shape of the eyes and then move on to make a small nose. Once you've got the nose created, you can move down to the mouth area and just draw out the shape of a mouth by selecting the points and adjust the the points so that you drag down uh, the top edge of the lips and then drag up the bottom edges of the lips to create a mouth shape. You can play around with some of the details to add a little bit more detail to your face as much as you like but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're not going to go into too much detail on this. Next, we're going to add an ear by pulling out the vertices in the appropriate direction. And select the points, same as usual. Press G to grab them. Go out of edit mode and select the second layer. Add a UV sphere. Go to top ortho view and hold down Alt when you're clicking on a point to select a ring. Make the eye white and select the iris ring. We're going to add colors to the center of the eyes. Add a blue material to the outer ring. Next select the pupil and add a dark gray material. Resize and reposition the eyes so that they are in the correct place. Press M to move it to layer 1. Now we're going to add a skin color material to the head. And now we have a simple character's head. Next we're going to move on to the body. So select another layer. Add a UV sphere and in edit mode, delete half. And then use the mirror modifier. Make the sphere a little taller and thinner. Now erase the bottom half. This is where the legs are going to go. Extrude downwards. Select the four vertices at the bottom to leave a gap in the middle. Make a loop cut halfway through the middle section and hold down Alt and click on a vertex to select the ring. Extrude down to create the character's legs. Once you reach the bottom, you can make the feet by selecting the vertices on the front and extruding them out. Look underneath the feet. Press Alt to select the rim and then Alt F to fill it in. Alternatively, you can select four vertex points and press F to create a face and continue until you've filled in all the gaps. Press S to scale and then Y to straighten out the feet. Extrude out the arm with three segments by pressing E followed by G to move it and then E again to extrude again. You can give your characters fingers by extruding out the faces at the end of the arm. If you don't have enough uh, polygons at the end of your arm, you can add more by adding loop cuts, uh, as many as you need to create three fingers. Add a loop cut and extrude to give the character a thumb as well. 
Next, we're going to add a surface modifier to the body and bring the levels up to two. View and render. If you go above this, it's going to slow down the whole system. So it's a general rule of thumb. Don't go above two for either of those values. Select all by pressing A and choose smooth from the object toolbar. Press M to move the body back to the first layer and resize it to match the size of the head. Select t-shirt shape of his body by just selecting the vertices that you need and add a new material and change it to red. Select the trouser section and add a new material. Select and change the color to blue. Select the hands, add a new material, and change the color to skin color. And if you want, you can add shoes or any other details that you would like. At this point, you can add as much more detail as you would like. So for example, we could add a cap to put on the character's head. We could create some eyebrows, um, an earring, we could add a tie to the character's shirt. So this has been a simple tutorial on how to model a character in Blender.